and this is the place to be to hear about the latest tech trends in healthcare. Today we are going to dive in the mind-blowing world of quantum physics. Now before you run away, quantum physics are not as scary as they sound. Today we will talk about mutants, superpowers and next generation medical research. Believe me, you will love quantum physics by the end of this video. As promised, today we will talk about superhumans. Let me share with you the story of Mystique. You might recognize her from the X-Men saga. She is a mutant whose power is to shift appearances, so no one really knows what her precise identity is. She transforms into one person and then into another. She can have multiple aspects at the same time. And in other words, she's in a superposition of different states. But what does Mystique have to do with health tech? Nothing at all. But she will help us understand how quantum physics work. Because yes, apart from entertaining us, X-Men movies accomplish something very special. They help us visualize some of the most mind-blowing laws of physics, like shape-shifting. Before digging into the incredible applications of quantum physics in healthcare, let's first try to understand what quantum physics are really about. Quantum physics describes the structure and the interactions that occur at the atomic level. In other words, it's the study of the laws that govern all microscopic particles, things like electrons, photons, or atoms. And one of the most impressive features of these very tiny particles is that they can be in different states at the same time, just like Mystique. Outside of the X-Men world, being two things at once is quite rare. We are either alive or dead, a zero or a one, but not both at the same time. A quantum particle can be a zero and a one at the same time, depending on the context. This is what we call the principle of superposition. And the reason I'm bringing this up today, it is because this principle explains the incredible power of quantum computers versus traditional computers, and therefore also explains the incredible applications we can expect from them. Classical computers encode information in bits, each of which can be either a zero or a one. This concept underlies technology ranging from everyday smartphones to the most powerful supercomputers that we know. The problem is, with only two possible states for each bit, there are limits to the volume of data traditional computers can process. In contrast, quantum computers encode information in quantum bits, or qubits, each of which can be sort of an arbitrary combination of both zero and one at the same time. A single particle can therefore store multiple pieces of information at a time. The quantum bit has a non-binary identity and has some probability of being a zero and some probability of being a one. That's not very clear, is it? But that's okay, it took me a couple of months to wrap my head around this idea. But if I have to summarize in very simple words, qubits are superhero particles that can have multiple identities at the same time, just like Mystique. And if that's still not very clear, how about this? Last year, Google built a quantum computer capable of completing a task in 200 seconds when it would normally take a classical supercomputer 10,000 years to perform. Although the results were questioned by engineers at IBM, I do feel like this illustrates the power of quantum computing. Now with such incredible processing power, the opportunities in healthcare are infinite. Let's take the COVID-19 pandemic as an example. The Institute of Global Health at the University of Geneva creates predictions about the spread of the pandemic each single day for over 200 countries. It takes their supercomputers 11 hours to compute all the data and return the predictions. That's a lot of computing power used every single day. Quantum computers provide the opportunity to go much faster and compute a larger volume of data. Another example is that quantum computers can be used to compute all the different interactions between a molecule and a protein in order to improve drug design. 
Today, calculating all the possible states of all the atoms in a molecule is very difficult, even for the most advanced supercomputers. But knowing what these states are is key to understanding how the molecule links to a protein and what the effect can be on the human body. Quantum chemistry can help reproduce very sophisticated experiments on a computer to understand what exactly happens at an atomic level and better anticipate the effect of a molecule on our body. But be careful, quantum computers, although they are called computers, work on a completely different technology and will certainly not replace traditional computers. If you want to watch pictures of cats or an X-Men movie, your old laptop will do the job. But if you want to identify all the risk factors in cardiovascular diseases, you might need a little help from the quantum world. Two different technologies, two different use cases. If you want to continue this conversation, head over to our website for more content and the unique opportunity to sign up for our next inspiring conference. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time.